welcome to Udu Studio. I did not want this channel for tutorials for a long time, but recently many people are hardly finding flux engine tutorials. So I decided to get into tutorials again to help people learn flux engine. Today this tutorial is about physics basics in flux game engine. I assume you have flux engine installed, you have learned basics of flux engine, and you know the child and actor concept on game objects or you can call it actors in flux game engine if you have those requirements met then we can continue our concept so the concept of physics is rigid body to simulate physics rigid body calculates lots of things as an actor the rigid body actor also needs a collider and a visual actor the, what will the collider do? The collider will define the shape of the rigid body and the visualize actor is going to visualize the rigid body actor so the rigid body will be parent and the collider will be child of that rigid body to define the shape and a visualization actor as visualizing rigid body To create a physics object we will need a rigid body, a collider and a visual First of all to make physics works work we will need an actor called rigid body we can create it in two ways i will show you in one way you can if you know the basics of flux engine then you will have easy understanding on what i'm doing or not doing so if you don't know the basics of flux engine it may be a complicated go to my channel and learn up flux engine basics first but on here i am going to overview by assuming that you know basics of flux engine to create a rigid body actor, first right click on this hierarchy or something called scene and you will see this new tab expanded. After expanding it, you will see the physics tab. After expanding the physics tab, you will go to rigid body and click on here to add the rigid body actor. The rigid body actor is shown on the screen on here and scene. Oh, what we will need to do is, we will now need some colliders and visuals a rigid body cannot act worldly without a collider it needs a collider adding a collider is not the traditional way as it is in unity you, what you will have to do is <coughs> you will need a collider actor inside of that rigid body actor as a child to do that right click on the rigid body go to an expand new tab and on here you can see on the physics tab there is something called collider step after going to collider step there is a something called box collider click on the box collider and it will create you a box collider like this on this green shape in the game you will not see these <coughs> lines on here drawn on here it is only seen inside of the editor you are working on So to visualize the collider, we will need to add a mesh. And adding a mesh is not done on here as you need in Unity. You will need to add a mesh or visual to visualize the rigid body acting. And <clears throat> you can do that this way by adding a mesh actor as a child of rigid body to visualize it. We will add a box visualizer. So to do that, go to rigid body tab expand new and inside new click on this model which will get this static model and this static model should be visualized but you can see it is not visualized to visualize it with something you can uh, i mean get a mess visual of airplane or let's say cars or guitar any kind of visual we can add on it but <clears throat> we are going to add default visual on inside of that static model First of all, make sure you are selected. We have selected static model. Inside of that static model, there is a property called model in the properties window or inspector window. So, make sure this static model is selected and find its model step. Uh, inside of this model step, expand it and select cube, not the box collider, but the cube for this demonstration purpose. If you select box, you will see that a very small mess created inside of this thing as you can see it is so small that we won't be able to see and fit with the mess so don't select the box select the cube and you have select after that 
you can see we have we can have a visual inside of that this body and you can see it is still not acting like a physical body a physical body should fall and interact with other colliders so to do that thing we will have to go to actually on the play mode and we will see that the box will fall it fall too fast let me do something it is falling yes just like a real world physics body now you may ask what if we do the same thing to or over this cube it is not a rigid body and will it fall or collide no it may collide but it won't fall because it has a collider it will co collide but as this this is just a static model not a rigid body it won't fall or interact with the physics things let's see if the blue one falls go to play mode and you can see the blue one stays on there and the white one stays uh, i mean it falls down that's how you the physics body would, would work and for more ex more concepts let's see let's say we have added a spear collider instead of box, box collider what will happen the thing that will happen is it will roll let's see how it rolls to add a ro collider that is uh, shaped like a ball it will actually behave like a ball to do that let's go to this body expand uh, right click on the this body go to expand the new tab and expand physics expand colliders and inside here you can see this spare collider which will behave just like a ball but the mesh is not ball but the spare is a ball you will see the that the collision detection system won't work with this mesh or visual that we can see it will depend on the collider you have inside it, not the model or not the visual the model is actually visual and let's hit play mode and you will see it will be like a box no 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 it's okay okay wait for a second let me do something more let's see yeah you, you can see that the box should not roll like a ball but it rolled like one because we have attached a collider on that spear and spears do roll unlike boxes for further visualization let's do something more what will happen if we delete the colliders the box will fall through right it, if you if you are a new game developer you won't know that but let's remove the colliders from this so it won't collide with this thing i mean the rigid body won't collide with this anymore because it doesn't have a collider inside it and also it is currently interacting with the floor because it has a rigid it has a box collider inside it this this is the floor and this is the box collider of it if we delete the collider from the floor the rigid body won't stay on the ground or the floor anymore because it is not detecting any collision in this you can see the box doesn't collide without the collider on the floor if you have things falling down like that you can re-add the colliders oh, just add a collider like this yeah and if we add the collider you can see the difference it collides with the floor now I am going to upload many more tutorials to teach you guys basics of flux engine. Basic tutorials like C sharp uses, instantiation and destroying, collision detection, animations, etc. So stay tuned for getting those tutorials.